What's up everyone? Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. It's a dramatic one. I wanted to give you guys one final makeup tutorial for 2017. This is my New Year's Eve look, and I say my New Year's Eve look as in I'm just creating it for you. I don't actually have plans for New Year's Eve. I hope you do. But yeah, this is uh, this is about as dramatic as it gets for me. Um, it's just like a black, gray, and silver really dark smoky eye. I used only cream products, uh, which made it easier not to get fallout. So I'll show you guys how that works. I have to warn you, for some reason, my mic went out during the face portion of the tutorial. So there's a lot of echo just in that part. I'm sorry, I did what I could to try to fix it, but if you're really repulsed by echo, you can definitely skip ahead to the eyes. But again, I am sorry. Let's jump into the tutorial. So for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I mix my foundation with a heavy cream in the winter time. Like I talked about in my skincare video, so I'm gonna demonstrate that. But first, um, because in the winter I tend to be extra dry, I want some um, hydration and some brightness under my eyes. So I'm gonna go in first with the Banana Bright Eye Cream from Ola Henriksen. This has sort of that light reflecting quality to it. And sometimes I even mix this with my concealer if I really want like a natural finish, but right now I'm just using it to hydrate my under eyes. That way I won't get that like patchy dry look. All right, give that a second to sink in now for the foundation and cream combo. I talked about the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the Matte and Poreless. You don't have to use this one. I know it's a pricey one. Uh, the CeraVe, or CeraVe, I don't know what you call it exactly. But it's a drugstore brand. They make a lotion and a cream that comes in a jar just like this. So I would use the cream. So all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this and put it on the back of my hand. And then of course take the foundation and just pour a little bit on the back of my hand. So I would say equal parts. So now I have the foundation and the cream on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna mix this together. And since, like I said, it's winter time, this really saves my skin. I told you guys in my skincare video that sometimes, you know, when you come home after you've worn your makeup for a few hours and you look in the mirror and it just looks kind of like not fresh and just dry and cracked. This just keeps my makeup looking fresh all the time. So I really like this trick. So I'm gonna pat this into my skin. So now I'm gonna take this brush and just start blending this in and buffing it into my skin. So it just takes down the opacity of the foundation just about 50% because you're using equal parts of the cream in the foundation. All right, so taking that shape tape from Tarte, I'm gonna just hit the under eyes, really brighten them up, brighten up the center of my face. And actually just with a foundation brush, I'm gonna blend this in. So this makes me feel a little bit better about using the shape tape because, you know, it's a heavier concealer. So if I used a heavy foundation and then went in with a heavy concealer, I feel like it would be too much for me. So um, this kind of just gives me exactly the right finish. And now I'm going back to my favorite contour, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, foundation stick. Don't know why I ever stopped using this. Everything else that I've used in between has been like, okay, but this just always, I always go back to it. So I'm just gonna apply this to the hollows of my cheeks and the hairline, tip of my nose, and the jaw. And then just gonna buff this out so it looks nice and blended. And it's just really easy to blend out. It never looks patchy. It's not dry, it's just creamy enough to blend, but it's not too slick. All right, I'm feeling good about that. Now just to set uh, just under my eyes and a little bit of the center of my face, I'm gonna take the Cover FX, the Perfect Setting Powder. This is the light. And again, I don't wanna use too much. All right, on to blush. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury blush in Love Glow. It's a nice soft color. I'm 
And finally, for my highlight, I'm using my little highlight, precise highlight brush and the uh, Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. I'm just going to pat that into the high points of my cheeks. You kind of want to make like a C shape right here. That's where your face catches the light the most. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do for my eyes is fill in my brows. I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. Brush up these brows, and because it's a dramatic eye look, I definitely want to amp up the brows a little bit. I don't know what's more labor intensive, doing brows or doing like a winged liner. I feel like they're both like super tedious work. All right, now for the actual eye makeup, I'm really just limiting it to three products. These are all Maybelline, so it's an affordable look, and it's all cream, so I'm not using any powder eyeshadow for this look because since it's such a dark look, I don't want any fallout, um, and I personally find creams just easier to blend. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is the Eye Studio Blackest Black Gel Eyeliner. It is an eyeliner, but I am gonna put it all over and blend out. So I'm taking an eyeshadow brush, and I'm actually gonna take this and put it on the back of my hand um, to work with it. I don't wanna get too much on at one time. So I'm gonna start at my lash line and then start blending upward. And I wanna create somewhat of a wing shape here. And again, being very careful not to let it dry before I have a chance to blend it out. So I'm gonna take this brush and just start blending out the edges. So I wanna blend as I go. Because this starts to dry pretty fast, I don't wanna wait until I have my shape down, I wanna blend as I go. Just extend that a little bit. And don't be afraid to use your finger also to blend. Sometimes it's your best tool. So this color you wanna extend almost up to your crease. The one thing I am going to do once I have the shape down that I want, I'm gonna go back and grab a little bit more of the liner and focus the black right along the lash line. Since I have the rest of it exactly where I want it, I just wanna concentrate that black and just really make it nice and dark. Now before I move on and do the same thing on the other eye, I'm gonna actually take the same um, liner and use a smaller smudge brush and line the bottom lash line. And depending on your eye shape or how you feel most comfortable, you can put um, as much or as little as you want. I really just want to darken up the lower lash line. All right, we're already off to a really dramatic start. So this is the base I'm gonna be working with. Just adding some of that uh, metallic dark gray and then a little bit of silver. So let's move on to the other eye. Starting just at my lash line. Creating that wing and then slowly starting to work upward and start to blend out the edges before it dries. And again, grabbing that smaller smudge brush and just hitting the waterline. Okay, so at this point, if your shapes aren't exactly matching, if you have a little more black on one eye than the other, it's not really a big deal because uh, going in with this crayon now, this is the color Tattoo Crayon in Charcoal Chrome. This is where we're gonna be able to um, sort of uh, fix some of the shape however we want. Don't put this everywhere. This has to be kind of strategically placed. So I'm gonna start putting this kind of along the edge of the black. So almost by the crease and then start blending upward. And this one we can actually start blending up past the crease because it is the gray and not the black. 
So the goal here is to just blend the black and the gray together and extend the gray just past the crease. And I'm also gonna take that crayon and just line the bottom lash line. Just one easy line. So I'm just lining the edge of where the black ends and then using the brush to blend. Blend together with the black and blend upward just past the crease. All right, enough with the dark colors. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the silver. This is another color tattoo product. It's called the Eye Chrome, and the color is Silver Spark. So this I'm actually gonna put on the back of my hand as well, and um, I just feel like I have more control that way. So I'm gonna pick, pick up the color and just kind of blend it on my hand first, and then start applying. And then with a clean finger, just start blending out. This way I can really get exactly how much I wanna get on my eyelid. Has to be like adding a little bit at a time, because if it's too much, you ruin all the other work you did. So I'm placing this closer to the crease and right above it, so you can see the ombre effect that creates. You've got the dark by the lash line, and then as it goes up, you get a little bit more into that silvery tone. And for brown eyes, this is really gonna make them sparkle. I also wanna add a very small amount to the inner corners of the eyes. And then for the other side, again, just taking a little bit of that metallic silver with my finger starting at the center of the lid at the crease and then starting to blend out. You definitely want to have this blending brush on hand too just so you can erase some of the silver that's getting sort of overpowering the black too much. All right, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. So now I'm gonna move on to the mascara. I'm gonna use this by Marc Jacobs. It's called their Velvet Noir uh, Major Volume Mascara. I used this in an Instagram Live recently and it was really good. So I'm gonna use it for this look. For this look, without false lashes, you're really not going to see the lashes at all. So I am gonna add some falsies. You guys know I'm not about that lash life, but for this look, it's kind of necessary. So for this look, I'm gonna use the Ardell Faux Mink in 811. I like that it goes from short to long, but I am going to cut them. I'm just gonna take a little bit off the end right there. And of course, if I am using falsies, I always use the Duo Dark Tone because it dries black and not clear. So I'm just gonna take the end of a brush, dip it into the glue, and that's what I use to apply the glue to the strip. Very little glue. Actually, the less glue you use, the better it'll adhere. Wow, I've never started with my right eye. That's so weird. It's really weird that I did that. Or maybe it's not that weird to you, but it's weird to me. <laughs> and then I'm just going to lower that onto my lash line. And when you're putting on lashes, make sure that the I personally put most of my pressure on the inner corner and the outer corner to make sure that they're, first of all, where they're supposed to be, like right at the lash line, and make sure they're like fixed. And then again, just making sure those corners, you can feel where it's wet, where the glue has landed. And also another good thing about cutting lashes is you don't put them so, I hate, hate, when lashes are really close to the inner corners of the eyes. It, it looks terrible. Nobody has lashes that full in there. So it just, it, I don't like the way that looks. So when you start a little further out, it looks better. Also, when you close your eyes, you don't get that feeling, like the, the strip poking your, your eyelid. Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna go into the lip products. I'm gonna use first the Lip Cheat by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is called Iconic Nude. Just gonna do a little bit of contouring. And now I'm gonna go in with a matte nude. This might be my favorite matte nude. This is by Dior and it is called Jungle. 
It is really the perfect matte nude. Sometimes they're too pink or they're too light. I thought that this was just the perfect shade, especially for a look like this. So I'm just gonna apply that directly. And it's a very comfortable matte. And that's it for this dramatic New Year's Eve look. Like I said, I just wanted to do one last dramatic eye makeup look for you guys before the year was over. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know down in the comments what you think. And of course, I'll see you in my next video.